Now, this message I'm dealing with is a conversation in hell. Let's begin, my friend. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously, lavishly every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid which was laid at his gate full of sores and desired to be fed with crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sore as medicine. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angel, amen, into Abraham's bosom. And the rich man died also and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeing Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. So you might be watching this video today. And both men dies. The rich man died and the poor man died. And a lot of people believe that once you die, Amen. The rich man in heaven and the poor man in hell. But no, the Bible say, hallelujah. Listen to what the Bible say. The Bible say, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by angel into Abraham's bosom. And the rich man also died and was buried. I don't believe in cream, in, cream, in uh, uh, cremation. Cremation is Buddhism. Cremation. Because the Bible say, the rich man died. And the poor man died and was buried. So, you have an opportunity to be buried. And listen what happened. The story flipped now. I'm talking about a conversation in hell. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in, in torment. Torment means pain. And seeing Father Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. So, you can see in hell. What you can do? You can see in hell and he cried and said father abraham have mercy on me and said lazarus that he may dip the, the tip of the finger in water and cool my tongue for i am torment i'm in agony in this flame so so this what happened now he cried for mercy the rich man is crying for mercy but remember in 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 the past it was the beggar and, and the Bible says, verse 21, And desired to be fed with crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. The dogs came and licked his soul. So the rich man ignored him on earth. Now he is in hell. He asked him, Father Abraham, to send Lazarus, may dip the tip of his finger in water to cool his tongue, for I am torment in this flame. But listen what Father Abraham said to him. But Father Abraham said, Son, he said, remember. So in hell, you can remember. What I say, in hell, you can remember. This is what Father Abraham said to him. Father Abraham said, son, remember thou in thy lifestyle, receiveth thou good thing. What a good thing. He lived a lavish life. Lavish. He was, he was in purple every day. He might, he might, listen, in, in, if he was living in our time, he would drive the best car. He would eat the best food. He wear the best clothes and live in the best home. But the Bible say, and Father Abraham says, son, remember. So you got your faculties, you're going to remember in hell. That good thing and Lazarus evil thing, but now he's comforted and thou art tormented. That means your, your table turn in hell. The afterlife. And beside all this, between us and you, there's a great gulf fix. So that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from hence. So that means that you can't go to him and he can't go to you. It's a gulf fix. Hell is real. And verse 27. Then he said, I pray thee. Now he's begging. Now he's praying. You praying in hell. Then he said, I pray thee, therefore, Father Abraham, that thou would ascend him to my father's house. Now he 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 want intervention now. He want to go 
and 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 ask Father Abraham to go up there and witness so so I can wait to them so they won't come to this place called hell. But listen, this is what he say. And he say verse 28, for I have five brethren that he may testify unto them, lest they also come to this place of torment. So, so hell is a place of torment. Amen. So the rich man acts in request now of let nobody come here. And it's amazing that how people live the life they live and they haven't read the Bible. And even though they read the Bible, they don't believe it. Bible says, he that believe and baptized shall be saved. He that believe and not shall be damned. This is damned right here. And listen to what the father Abraham told him. Abraham said unto him, said unto the rich man, they have Moses, they have the Torah and the prophet. Even though some people say the minor prophet, prophet is a prophet. Let them hear them. They have the Bible, they have the, they have the Torah, and they have the, the scroll to read about, about eternal life. Amen. And he said, Nay, he said, No, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they repent. No, they wouldn't. Because Jesus is resurrected. And people, or people call Easter, an Easter bunny, Easter cheese, Easter clothes, Easter basket, all these things. But they don't believe in Jesus. But they believe in Tupac. They believe Michael Jackson's still alive. They believe in Elsie Presley's still alive. But they don't believe that Jesus Christ is alive. Amen. Hey, amen. So verse 31. And he said unto him, if they hear not Moses, if they hear not the five book of Moses, general, the, 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 the Moses, Genesis, uh, uh, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, and the prophets, neither will be persuaded, even though they will not move, though one rose from the dead. What I'm saying to you is watching this video. People, a lot of people have say they went to hell and came back. And I heard this guy say he went to hell. And the demons down there, they listened to Rihanna songs. Amen. And I'm telling you, and I had a series of, of, of video and people saying that you can listen to secular music. Why would you want to listen to secular music and secular music draw you away from the spirit and it draw you to flesh? Amen. And a lot of people don't believe in hell. Seven day events don't believe in hell. Joe Witness don't believe in hell. A lot of these pastors does not believe in hell. They're not gonna preach about hell. What are they gonna preach about? They're gonna preach about prosperity. They're gonna preach about how to get a new husband, how to get a new wife, how to be a millionaire. My former pastor he say that he won't be like he won't be like Elizabeth. Amen. Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor had, have a lot of spouse. And this man was a pastor. And amazing that he got cremated. And he died in pain. Hell is real. Him and 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 I listen, I have at least 10,000 videos. And I ain't trying to be rich. I'm trying to Present the message of Jesus Christ or Yahshua to you. A lot of people don't believe in the Bible. I know a lot of people say that the Bible, they say King James was a homosexual. King James was gay. So I'm not going to put my, my my trust in a book. My friend, I would have put, put my trust in a book. Amen. That can lead me to heaven and away from hell. Because we all one day want to stand before God. And when we stand before God, and and if your name not written, and that's my next message I'm, I'm going to tell you about. The white throne judgment is a judgment for the sinners. If you are a sinner, this, ju this, this white throne judgment is for you. And if your name not written in the Lamb book of life, God going to say go to hell. And when God tell you go to hell, 
God didn't send you to hell. You you sell you sell your you send yourself to hell because you have an opportunity. You have the grace and mercy, and you shun it. Now the rich man is in hell 